What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Revival. My name is JJ, and today's topic is podcasts. So one of the things that I uh, like to do like on my lunch break uh, at work or uh, on my way to and from work is I listen to podcasts, mostly gaming related. Uh, some are just kind of nerdy stuff in general related. Um, but uh, I, I kind of wanted to do a video on just some shows because coming from a podcast background, um, I still totally am, am into that world because I love listening to that stuff. I just like people listening to people talk about things that I like. Um, and, uh, I thought it'd be kind of neat to, uh, just make a quick video, well, we'll see how quick it is, on, uh, on five that, that I tried to never miss an episode, um, just because I, I enjoy them so much. Uh, there are more than these, uh, but these are the, these are kind of like the main ones that I, that I really, really enjoy. So the first one I wanted to talk about, uh, these, uh, these girls actually were on the Frozen North as a guest, um, I don't remember which episode off the top of my head episodes there were two was a two-parter um i'll put the numbers down here but the um they it's uh, tara and lightning's rpg roundup it's basically just two girls talking about like they'll pick a game and they'll play it over you know however long it takes them to play over months or weeks or whatever um and then they will as they finish them they'll just do a show on it and they go like super in-depth as far as anything you could possibly want to know about that game. They'll talk about characters, each individually. Uh, they'll talk about battling. They'll talk about uh, the story um, and, and just kind of, you know, give their thoughts on it. And it, it's it's so fun to just hear, like, the passion because they, they crack jokes and they just have a good time while they're recording. You know, it's just they're just having fun while they're doing it. And it, you'll see a theme with, with the, the podcast that I listen to, and that's kind of like I don't necessarily listen to shows just for news and to hear people talk. I like hearing people get excited about things and, and they're a great example of, of, uh, of people who get excited about things that they like. Um, so I really, really enjoy that. Um, uh, and with all these, I will, I will put links down at the, uh, in the video description. So I highly encourage you to go check them all out. Uh, but yeah, so that's the first one I wanted to mention, uh, Terra and Lightning's RPG Roundup. Go check them out if you're into RPGs, old school, new school. Um, they pretty much just play everything and, and, and talk about whatever they want to. I've actually heard a few games on there that, that I had not heard of before um, that they convinced me to get because I was like, this sounds kind of neat, you know? So, uh, yeah, give them a check out. Give them a check out. Go check them out. I can talk. All right, the next one is uh, another one that's a little bit... I <laughs> I don't know if I should have... Maybe I should have mixed it up a little bit more because I just... The first one that I did was on a couple of people who have been on my old show, and then this one is one where I've been on the show a few times. Uh, I, I swear, I do actually listen to all these, though. I, it's not like shameless plugs uh, just because I know them and stuff like that. Like, I genuinely do enjoy listening to all these. Um, but it's called The Basement Dwellers. Fairly new. I think they're just in their second year. Um, I've been on a few of their episodes. Wes is the guy that runs it, and he is one of the nicest guys I've ever met. Um, and uh, they are not so much video game related as they are just like nerd, sci-fi, uh, fantasy, that kind of stuff, culture in general, um, role-playing, whatever. Um, and they, they kind of cover just a little bit of everything as far as, you know, <laughs> it's not sports, um, and they're they're again they are just a, a group of people. The cast that's on is different almost every time. Um, I mean, you hear the same people, but they they've got a lot of people involved, so you get a lot of perspective um, for from each episode, uh, which is kind of neat. And I really just it's just like a variety show of just different stuff that is just entertaining to listen to. Um, 
They do things like uh, like verses where they will take two characters from different you know uh, fictional universes and then pit them together and they'll talk about who they think would win and like have like tournaments with that kind of stuff and they just vote at the end like they'll talk it out present arguments and then at the end they'll vote on who the winner would be for that fight uh, it's it's, it's kind of interesting you have to check it out uh, and then um, they you know news for nerd culture obviously and then they usually have like some some big topic like whether it be conspiracy theories or I was on an episode where I got to uh, do an E3 rundown with them which was really fun um, just a really 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 just fun show to listen to uh, so give them a check out also all right so the next one uh, again a little biased <laughs> the guy that the guy that runs this is uh, an, an old fan of the show uh, the Frozen North, and uh, that was when I first started talking to him. Was uh, I think the first time I ever talked to him, I was doing a uh, live stream on my PlayStation, and he hopped in. Um, <laughs> and it's called Just a Bit Gaming or Jab G Cast. They are it's just two guys, Adrian and Ryan, and they just talk about games. And uh, when when Adrian first like because he, he asked me when he first started like hey do you have any tips or advice or anything and I you know I, I told him what I could but it's you know you, you make a podcast it's kind of your personality your thing so I was just like oh you know here's some really crappy advice that helped me just get through day to day stuff uh, but Adrian's already got a one up because he's an artist so he's able to make like logos and that kind of stuff my freaking lo- well my logo for my thumbnail thing for this channel is just a picture of controllers on the ground that I took yeah uh, as you can see but so I as soon as he started releasing episodes and they they kind of just started getting into it like I I was genuinely like this is really fun to listen to and they they are still like you know right around the same number of subscribers that I can but they deserve so much more like seriously go check these guys out because it, it's so fun to just listen to them talk um, and again, it's another one where they're they're talking about gaming, but they're passionate about it. They really, really enjoy it. They talk about old stuff. They talk about new stuff. Adrian's a collector like I am, so he goes into uh, I think like situations he's been in when he's been out collecting different deals he's gotten, uh, and it's just it's just fun to listen to. And I enjoy the hell out of that show. Like genuinely, I listen to every single episode. Um, they're on YouTube and, uh, like the audio channels, the normal ones, Stitcher, iTunes, all that stuff. Um, I typically watch on YouTube though, uh, mainly because it's just easy for me to bust out my phone, hit YouTube, and then drive in my car with that thing playing. But it's, yeah, check them out for sure. You won't be disappointed. Great couple of guys. And I will actually be, I'm not sure if this episode will be out before or after that happens, but when I go to Retropalooza uh, down in Texas, I will be meeting up with them, and uh, hopefully we're going to be doing some sort of collab. Uh, we talked a little bit about it, and I would love to, because I think it'd be really fun, and uh, we'll see what happens. So the next one is kind of a like a, like a dual thing. Uh, so what, what I mean is, there is a show called the Retro RPG Show, um, which has been around for I six, seven, eight years, something like that. Been around for a while. Um, Derek and Don run it, and they don't release episodes very often. Um, they have very, very busy outside lives, and they're literally just like, "Hey, we'll play a game. We get through it. We'll re- talk about it, record it, and throw it up on iTunes." And it's it's super entertaining to listen to. Um, I listen to every episode. Uh, I enjoy it. However, at one point they did a contest where they were like, hey, let's do, uh, we're, we're trying to, since we don't release episodes very often, we would like to invite somebody else to make their own show and then we will supplement ours with that and like kind of just fill in the empty times. Um, that way people like who are, you know, subscribed to us and stuff, they want, they can still get some content in there. And the guy that ended up winning that contest, uh, his name is Blaine. And he does a show called Is It Worth It? And it's on the same channel. I encourage you to check out both of them, by the way. Um, and I really, really, really was blown away by by how much I enjoyed his uh, Blaine's podcast, the Is It Worth It thing. 
Um, he gives advice on collecting. He talks about his collection, uh, talks about history of, uh, of, of different games and stuff. Um, but he, he, his main focus is he will basically, I think there's, there's two guys that do it now, him and uh, another guy named James, um, who they basically will take a game, they'll decide what to play, you know, in advance, um, play through it over the course of a month or whatever, and then they will just talk about it for an episode, and then at the end, they'll look at its current buying price um, on eBay or, or, you know, sellers, that kind of stuff, and they'll tell you if they think what it's selling for is worth the asking price. Like, is this a game, like... And, and then it's not just, like, you should get it because it's good. It'll be like, from a collector's standpoint, is this worth it? You know, from a... Just, you want to play it. Is it worth it? That kind of thing. Um, it's super interesting to listen to, and they, they always go really, really in-depth, and I just, I love the personalities. Um, so it's really, really good show. Highly recommend that one as well. Um, and I've, I've actually kind of gone back and forth a little bit on uh, on Twitter with uh, with Blaine a little bit. Super nice guy. And uh, yeah, go check them out for sure. And the last podcast I wanted to talk about is, hands down, my favorite podcast that I listen to, um, and I have been listening to... Mike, the main guy from the channel, for years. His channel used to be called Wari Alaski Plays, um, and that was a long time ago. It is now called Dark Pixel Gaming. If you are a fan of RPGs and storytelling, there is, in my opinion, no better channel than to go check out. Um, I've never done a Patreon before. I've never, like, uh, uh, donate to anybody or anything like that just because I, I just you know I they're, they're already doing this stuff I'm not sure that the rewards are worth it in a lot of cases um, just for me personally uh, I just haven't felt the desire to do that with Dark Pixel it was the first time and I just recently did it I signed up and I, I, I was like I have to because the content and the quality that they put into their videos and their podcasts uh, are second to none in my opinion it's mike makes amazing reviews very 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 well done um and i can't stress that enough it's so in-depth he talks about um storytelling like oh, okay perfect example xeno gears uh and i think i may have mentioned this in the past in a, in a previous video and, and linked to it as well but xeno gears growing up with it it's my second favorite game of all time i love it i'm not afraid to say i did not get most of it, and I especially didn't get like what took place after or before it regarding the uh, perfect works and the extended universe and stuff. Mike actually made a video where he's like, basically, so what he does before each video, he will um, do discussion videos and say like, all right, before I do my review, I want to get both sides of the argument as to why these aspects of these games are good or bad, um, and then I'll take all that into account and I'll make a video, my review, based on you know, how I feel after hearing, you know, everything in there, uh, which is really cool, first of all. But he did one of those for Xeno Gears, we talked about the story, and he was like, okay, the first thing I want to do is make sure I understand it correctly. Dude, like, dumbs it down to where it's so understandable and easy to get that I was like, oh my gosh, I love this game all over again, because holy crap, it's so much deeper than I thought originally. And, like, the explanation was just spectacular. Um, and again, I can't stress enough how great they are at just flat out explaining things and, and, and going in depth into all of these topics that they do. Um, even if you don't agree, they are more than willing to hear those other arguments and, and discuss them and stuff like that. And it's just, it's just such an interesting show to listen to. Each one of their podcasts... Um, again, another one I do listen on on YouTube, but it's also on uh, on iTunes and stuff. And I've listened to there as well. Like when I've been out of town, I will download like three or four of their episodes and just you know while I'm on the plane, listen to that. Uh, I don't know why I made a phone noise. Uh, noise? Wow, I'm just off today. But yes, check them out 100%. I cannot recommend them enough. Dark Pixel, uh, fantastic, absolutely. So there you have it. Uh, it's five podcasts that I listen to. There are some other ones that I haven't listened to, or that I haven't listened to. Well, yes, there are some that I haven't listened to, but there are some that I did not mention that I do occasionally listen to as well. Uh, things like the RPG cast from uh, RPGamer.com. Um, I, for a while, listened to the uh, Ultima Final Fantasy podcast. 
Uh, yeah, there's 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 a few other ones out there, but these are the ones that, that I'm like a new episode comes out and I'm like all right I've got to I've got to jump on it. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend all these uh, guys. What are some of your favorite podcasts? Um, let me know in the comments down below, and I will also put links to all of these that I mentioned in the, the uh, description down below. So as always, I appreciate you watching. Uh, subscribe, like, all that stuff, and uh, until next time, keep on gaming.